Four Productions presents Special. What's this random box sitting on the table? Well, you know where. Well, you, well, you already know what it is because of the title of the video and probably a picture that accompanies it. But, just for fun, what is it? It looks like about the size you'd find for a portable record player. But this can do more than a record player. Because this is a real to real tape recorder. How about that? It's made by a company called Transworld, and sorry, but it's got no model number. It's got a serial number, but not a model number. Over here is a compartment where you can store the power cord as well as this patch cord and the original microphone. It's a classic vintage look to it. It has one of those fold back tabs so you can set it up on a table. This is a mono vacuum tube or valve tape recorder. I got today in the state sale for fifteen dollars. Those are the little wheel holders. Um, I had to do some work to it. I had to, well, uh, it kind of worked and I got it, but the amplifier wasn't as strong as it probably should be and it didn't sound the best. So I, you know, replaced the audio capacitors and it's greatly improved the amplifier. Um, then it's working. One other problem though is this. The belt that runs the rewind, there's a belt inside that goes from one wheel inside to another wheel under here. And that belt is, um, even though it's still intact and it still works, it's kind of, over the years, have kind of got to the position, that oval shape instead of the round shape. So this likes to have an erratic way of turning because of that position, which has an effect on playing the tape. Let's turn this thing on. You can see the seeing eye, the magic eye tube, and it will warm up eventually. Give it, just give it a moment. There we go. The green is starting to get on there. It's pretty cool. Um, you can see it better whenever I put a shadow over it. Okay, let's do a recording. Okay, I'm speaking up to the microphone. Um, uh, you can see the uh, magic eye tube moving according to my voice. And it's pretty cool how that is. Classic. This vacuum tube machine. Okay, see that? See how that goes? That's because of the belt. Okay, this is 3 and 3 fourths IPS. Now. Okay, I'm speaking up to the microphone. Um, uh, you can see the uh, magic eye tube moving according to my voice, and it's pretty cool how that is. Classic, this vacuum tube machine. Okay, see that? See how that goes? That's because of the belt. Okay, this is 3 and 3 fourths IPS. Okay, you notice it has a slight speed fluctuation each time this did that thing and that's why it's a problem if it did that but it didn't mess up the speed then I wouldn't be then I wouldn't have a problem with it so that's got tone control of course speed changes by the art of the camp stand sleeve I'm now making a recording at a uh, seven and one half inches per second which is the higher speed this machine's capable of running at and uh, of course it's going to the glowing eye tube everything you know this is your seven one half is a lot better audio quality a lot better trouble frequency response this machine was probably optimized for usage at the seven and one half inches per second tape speed I'm thinking that this is a crystal microphone judging by the sound now let's hear how it recorded music through the radio input jack
isn't it? Yeah, I hope I didn't get 30 seconds right there just in case it's WMG material, but I don't know if it is or not. Very nice, very neat machine. I would have replaced that rewind belt if I had the right size. The thing is, it uses a very odd kind of, kind of tra uh, like a trapezoid shaped belt. You know, there's, there's a square ones, there's a round ones, but th this one, and there's a flat ones, but this one's kind of trapezoid shaped. It looks similar to a flat one. Well, I hope you enjoyed my long video.